in this video I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the 3D printed case for the Raspberry Pi HQ camera and Raspberry Pi 3A Plus. For this you're going to need a print of the uh, front cover of which there's two types in the uh, available STLs one with and one without this extra mounting port on the top I'll go through what that is at the end of the video and optionally the case for the Pi. I say optionally because this ca this part can be actually assembled on its own so that you've got the camera separate from the Pi if you didn't want the Pi attached to the actual camera. Useful for example say attached to a telescope. The additional parts you're going to need are some mounting hardware so you're going to need eight 2.5 by 5 screws, four 2.5 by 11 spacers and four 2.5 by 11 plus 6 spacers. First take these spacers in pairs and attach them to the uh, camera. Next take the front piece, there's a grip slot for the camera or the tripod mount and actually screw in to the front. Don't screw these in tightly at first because you might want to do some slight adjustments in a moment. Now you might see some bl black marks on this print, that's because I was trying to actually print this in black ABS the last couple of nights and the prints would not work, so I ended up resorting to using you know, green PLA. I wanted black because all good cameras are black. Right, so that's the front. Now, again, now slot the cable through there and you can see you can actually now screw these in here to actually make this a standalone unit. But I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to actually attach the Pi base on now. So make sure you get this around the right way. That is the SD card slot so that goes to the bottom. So again the cable goes through The screw holes align up, so now we actually screw these in. Again, don't do them tightly at first so that you can adjust things. Okay, that's not gone right. For some reason those screws aren't fitting in. Let's try that again. Always the way. Right, take those out. Let's try this. This worked when I did the practice run. That was always.
whenever you're actually recording anything it's going to get in the way right that's better I can feel that uh, tightening up Now, the, now this is actually nice and aligned, we can actually do this up tight. We don't over tighten it, we don't want to break anything. And now we've got that part done, we can do these front ones up. Again, you don't want to do over tighten that. So there's our body. Now for the pie, again, there's eight of these um, screws. Again, four of these spacers, but then it's four 2.5 by 20 plus six spacers. These are slightly longer. So attach these to the pie, the small end to the base of the pie, the long ones to the top. Now, although there's room for this to be reduced, I'm using this because this would actually possibly fit a larger pie if I did a larger case. But I'm keeping these on here, so I've got some room for expansion later if necessary. Now we can fit Pi in. The SD card slot, where I've already got the SD card, goes by this slot here. So it ends up going that way around. And the USB slot goes to the top of the camera. And this ribbon cable needs to come around so it goes over the GPIO over to the back here and we only gently for now add these screws in Again, don't over tighten them because you might want to adjust. Next, put the cable in, in. making sure you've got it in the right slot and the right way around. You gently lock in place. And now the top. Again, easily aligned up. A bit of springiness there with the uh, cable, but that's fine. Once that's in, in place and lined up, we can do this up. And then we can do this side up. Thing 
lean up off earlier. So there we have it. One pie camera ready to go onto the tripod. Now, you might think this is a hot shoe. Well, obviously it's not a hot shoe because there's no wiring on there. But it's not for anything um, anything um, weighty because obviously it's, you know, it's only plastic. But these handy little um, lights are available. They're double A power batteries. They're about 10 to 15 quid on various places. And these will, is a standard hot shoe and will actually just fit in place. So there you are. One Raspberry Pi HQ camera in a printed case, ready for use. So there you are, there, that's the end of the assembly video. You can see there, it's now mounted on a tripod with a lens attached to it, and um, that's it. If you're wondering why there's no screen on it, I'm intended to use this uh, wirelessly over the network, so um, mainly to the, for uh, future videos. But um, you could put a um, screen on there, might need some redesigning of the back of the case, to handle screen, adding buttons, etc. But again, that's all um, customizable. All the STL files and the original OpenSCAD files are online. Links are in the description. And um, that's it.